Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Healthy Blue, the Communities of Color Network Tobacco-Free Living, and Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Welcome to the Southern University Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway here at Martha's Bistro in Zachary, Louisiana. And you can also catch this show not only here at Martha's Bistro, but as well as on Cox Sports, Cox 4 and Cox 1004 throughout the week on Monday, Saturday, and as well as on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays on Pelicans broadcast. And as well as follow us on our social media site, you can find us on Facebook at the Jaguar Football Show, as well as YouTube at the Jaguar Football Show, and on Twitter and follow us at the Jaguar Football Show. So, Coach, come out of a big victory against Prairie View, 37-31 uh, victory, tough game, uh, SWAC West opponent. Uh, how was it being able to go against that team and coming into the month of November and then being able to really roll and, and find your team in a position to compete for a SWAC championship? Well, I mean, we thought it was a big football game for us and, you know, got a chance to play at home. And, you know, before I get into the football game, man, Jaguar Nation, y'all were outstanding. I thought the crowd in the fourth quarter is what the atmosphere is supposed to be like in the jungle. It was rocking and we was excited to be able to be there. And, man, thank you all for the support. But we knew it was going to be a tough football game. And, you know, we really thought our guys was going to come out, was going to have to play 60 minutes. And we did that from start to finish. And, we're a good football team. We play extremely hard and, you know, sometimes the ball bounces your way and, and, and we were fortunate on Saturday for it to bounce our way. Still got to clean up some things, but I like the direction we're heading in. You have Austin Howard who threw for 405 yards and four touchdowns. He's become uh, the, pretty much the greatest quarterback in Southern University's history. And so being able to have a guy like that with that type of legacy, what does that mean as a head coach to be able to coach a guy like that? Well, you know, we've been blessed here at Southern University. I had an opportunity to coach uh, Dre Joseph, who, who was the previous uh, leader in yards and touchdowns, and now that's been broken by Austin Howard. So you're talking about a sensational young man, great character, great competitor. He's healthy now, and if we can protect him, we got a chance to be great going down the stretch. You know, I had a chance to coach uh, Lenard Tillery and Willie Quinn. So, you know, it, it's just we just been blessed to have some good players in our program and to represent our program the right way. and. You know, Austin is continuing to write his legacy. We got a couple more games to play, and, you know, he's been fantastic, and I hope he continues to play well. Let's jump right into the highlights and check out some of the first half against the Southern and Prairie View game. And so right here we have the Jaguars coming out, and Austin Howard completing the pass to Dylan Beard. Talk about this play right here. Senior to senior, man. That's outstanding. You know, a little RPO. We got a chance to run the ball and a chance to throw the ball. You see he come right back to him, hit him for a touchdown. I mean, the Jags did a great job in terms of offensive production in this ball game. Austin Howard, as we say, passed for 405 yards, and the Jags up 7-0 in the first quarter. Uh, but then Prairie View doing some things and kind of being able to move the ball a little bit. Well, they are RPO offense as well. You know, first play of the game right there, they get a good run. We get a fortunate turnover, but our offense is similar to theirs. And then Austin Howard here with a tip pass and then an interception. Talk about some of those tip passes and how the defense were able to adjust for Prairie View. Well, the biggest thing is that, you know, it's not always the quarterback fault when you throw interceptions, but that set up the short field. And you can see they go right down the field and they convert that into seven points. And it was tied up 7-7 seven to seven with 11 minutes in the first half. Both offenses were able to put up points quick and early in this game. But Prairie View really tried to establish a run game against your defense. Well, and I think that's the, the nature of the business when you're in talking about the conference. I think everybody tried to establish the running game, even though Austin threw for 405 yards. We came out and wanted to establish the running game as well. But one of the greatest things about your offense has been your young receivers. Uh, talk about how those guys have kind of grown along the season and, and kind of really coming to themselves to find some offensive production. Well, I think the, the, those three freshmen, once we inserted those guys into the lineup, it really took our production to another level. There's no substitute for work ethic. And we see here a pass deflected by the Southern defense. And, you know, Prairie View had pretty much a mobile quarterback. We've been dealing with issues with dealing with mobile quarterbacks, but you deal with a mobile quarterback each and every Saturday in this conference. And Prairie View here 
uh, with the missed field goal, but how is it to, to be able to really go out and to prepare for those type of quarterbacks? Well, you got to be disciplined, man. It's, in any point in time, they can um, take off and run. I mean, as, as Herb Bell was there, but any point in time, they can take off and run and and get out of the pocket, so you gotta be able to keep contain the quarterback at all times. And the Jags with a 10-7 lead right there, but here's Prairie View again, trying to establish the run game, but your defense is right there. And, and, and also forcing the turnovers. Prairie View with three turnovers, uh, with one turnover in Southern with three, but you're, you're putting them in a tight spot, and right here Prairie View trying to go in, and you study stopping the run. Man. Well, that's our goal, man, is to play great run defense, and we gotta get better. Had a miscommunication right here on the touchdown. You find ourselves up, uh, down right now, uh, 14 to 10. And then here's the kickoff, and you know the Jags on the kickoff, and you got a guy like Danny Johnson and Jamar Mitchell that can really return and put the team in a good field position. Well, and you know we had some penalties in the return game that you know we weren't able to capitalize on that possession, and you know great play by Demario Houston. But you're right, the return game helps us set up a short field for the offense. And then here's Prairie View again, trying to go deep on you, kind of overshot his receiver, but it's once again, they're trying to establish the run and your defense is holding them back. Well, and, and we're trying to improve on that because we know if we want to be a championship football team, you got to stop the run. And here's Prairie View again, trying to move the ball down the field. Your defense stood up stout in the first half. We did, we made some plays, but you know, this is going to be a 60 minute football game and they are a very talented group on offense that we were going against and our guys just had to uh, remain with the uh, game plan and continue to make plays. And your tight ends really played well in the first half. Talk about what they mean to this team and to this offense. Well, they got to be able to run block and they also got to be able to catch the ball. And we got one of the better tight ends in the conference in Dylan Beard. And here is, oh wow, Cameron Mackey almost getting the first down. And getting the first down as well as almost getting the touchdown. But then Austin Howard being able to force it in and get the touchdown. And the kick is up and it is good for the Jags. I mean. Your offense was really able to do something. You're getting 17 to 14, and you're able to get the first half and, and, and really do real good. Well, you know, at halftime, we go in with the lead, and then you got to figure out what you're going to do coming out. But it's a competitive football game. They responded to uh, every time PV had announced, so we responded, and that's a sign of a good football team. Well, stay tuned. We'll be back more. We're here at Coach Dawson Odoms of the Jaguar Football Show. The biggest scratch-off game of the season is here. It's Saints Game On from the Louisiana Lottery. Your chance to win up to $100,000. Scratch the back for an extra game. Enter the second chance drawings for VIP suite experiences, a deluxe limo experience, a tunnel team experience, official autograph team merchandise, and the grand prize, a 2018 season ticket package. Play Saints Game On from the Louisiana Lottery for your chance to make this your winning season. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Each morning in Baton Rouge, we rise to meet opportunity we carry the weight of responsibility proudly. We choose our paths. We move fast and we fly high. We light the way for others to follow. We make it happen. But what really matters is what happens when we land at home. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. Back to the Jaguar Football Show We're here with Coach Dawson Odoms, located at Martha's Bistro here in Zachary, Louisiana, at 19900 Scenic Highway. Coach, you come out of the second half, up 17-14. Talk about what you said to your team as you're in the locker room. Well, we talked about two scenarios that we already had. had. I talked to them about the Alcorn game at halftime and let them know that we've been there and we didn't come out and we didn't play very well. And we talked about the Pine Bluff game where we didn't come out of the second half and play with the same energy. But I really thought we had the right mindset come out of the halftime, and, and you get a chance to see that with second-half highlights. 
Let's go right into the second half highlights and check out and see the Jags as they came out of the half 17-14. Here's Prairie View once again trying to establish the run against your defense and able to get into the end zone. Well, Zach, you know, you can't – right out of the halftime, they take the ball down the field and get a first half, uh, second half touchdown to go ahead and uh, I think they um, – took the lead on us. Talk about Austin Howard. He threw a couple interceptions in this ball game. What was some miscommunication? What was kind of going on with uh, Austin Howard and your quarterback? Well, it was a tilt pass, and then one time they rolled the, the coverage, and they've been playing a lot of man, and then all of a sudden they rolled with a full safety. And once again, here's your specialty, really getting down the field. Danny Johnson, what kind of guy is that to have as a on your team as a team? Well, I tell you, he's a very good football player, and we needed a good return because they had took the touchdown in, took the lead, came back out and got a field goal. They were up seven, and we're down right now, and you're getting ready to see us really play our best football of the second half. Now, Austin Howard has been a field general. He's pretty much a walking playbook for your team. Now he's all-time passing leader and touchdown pass in Southern University history. What is it like to be able to have that guy being able to orchestrate these type of drives to put your team in position to win? Cool hand loop, man. Once he's back there, I think he's got a good understanding of what we're trying to do. We just scored the tie up, and now we're asking the defense to make a play and get the ball back to the offense. Coach Trey Oliver in his second season with the Jags really trying to help the Jags stop the run. Once again, Prairie View is continuously trying to establish a run game. Well, they're trying to control the clock, but right now the score is tied. Defense is able to get off the field on third now. We turn it back over to Austin Howard in the blue machine, and now we're trying to put a drive together to take the lead. And talking about the blue machine, Chennis Berry, your offensive coordinator, really doing some play calling for the Jags offense. Well, we've been together for a while, man. We worked at other places and we kind of got a great idea of what we're trying to do offensively. He's been running this offense for a while and you know, it's just great that they're having that kind of success. Now you're talking about a young guy like Kendall Catalong, wide receiver, freshman, really had a monster day for Southern University. What is it like to have a receiver to step up like that for you? Well, last week it was Jamal Washington. This week is Kendall Catalong. Who's it going to be this week? So. You know, I really think those guys are gelling well with the quarterback and they're making plays. And right now you just see our offense just put us up seven. There's a nice scramble by Austin Howard. But it's great to have those guys playing well. Here's a good pass right here. And the Jags really getting a chance to move down the field. Uh, what were some of the things that you saw in Prairie View's defense that made some success for your offense? Well, they put they loaded the box to stop the run. And, you know, and Austin Howard took advantage of it. And you see him right here. And, you know, just a fantastic play by a quarterback and our leader, man. When he plays well, we got a chance to be successful. And right there is Dylan Beard. He won't be denied. Strong guy. Uh, and also you're talking about the run game. You got a guy like Herb Edwards that's really been able to do some things and as well as Devon being coming out from an injury. Well, and that's what you got to do, man. Guys got to play well and you got to you got to run the football. And that's what we talk about all the time. When you can run the football, you got a chance to win football games. And what happened here on this play? The Panthers are able to get in 37-31. Well, it got a little post corner route down there. Supposed to be an outside leverage. We played inside leverage and allowed the guy to break it off to the corner. And what a big play right here. How did this play happen? Well, another great um, great pass by Austin Howard. And, you know, the good thing is that's Kendall Callon again. We got a chance to put the game away right here. All we got to do is protect the football. We fumble the football. Defense shouldn't even be on the field. But somebody got to go make a play. And a deep pass for Prairie View, but obviously gets intercepted here. The Jags get the ball, but pass broken up. Yep. And Prairie View really trying to get the ball down the field, but you're talking about a big play right there. But great play by Aaron Tiller, man. He's been trying to get that quarterback all night. He finally got home. 37-31, 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Your team was able to hold on and get the ball and, and seal the victory. How does it feel to now five-game win streak? Well, I mean, I think we're playing, we're playing better, and we know the challenge is to continue to get better. But that's what we're working towards. We we work hard to be in this predicament every year uh, since I've been the head coach. Our staff and our players have been in the hunt in November. This team knocked us out of the race in 2015. But every year we come down the November stretch with a chance to, to put our eyes on the prize. And we know we got to go take care of business this weekend in Houston at Texas Southern. But I'm proud of these guys because they, they represent the university that, you know the way it should be represented. The Jags getting a big victory, 37-31 over the Prairie View Panthers and actually putting themselves in a position in the SWAC West. We'll stay tuned. We'll talk more about this and the future game against Texas Southern. It's the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Owens.
have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back here to Marcus Bistro in Zachary, Louisiana, located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway. I'm here with Coach Dawson Odoms. It's the Jaguar football show. We just wrapped up the 37-31 victory against the Prairie View Panthers. Big Swag West victory. Uh, but every week we also do the Alpha Media uh, Players of the Week as well as the Coca-Cola Players of the Week. Uh, let's talk about who is your Players of the Week. Well, first of all, man, I think offensively, God has became the whole time leading passer, Austin Howard. Great job leading the Blue Machine. Defensively, you saw him on the 75th play of the football game. Third down and long, Aaron Tiller comes up with a big sack. And special teams, a guy that's been great in the return game all year long, Danny Johnson. Those are your Alpha Media Players of the Week. Uh, well, let's kick it over to Joe Dupree. He had a chance to catch up with some of the players after the game. Herb Edwards and Herb, man, what a night tonight. Uh, big game, every game counts. Very grimy game. Game was a lot harder than we thought it was going to be. But, man, when I watch you run, you run like Le'Veon Bell. You pick your spots. Last night as a senior here at A.W. Mumford, what's going through your mind? How you feel? Uh, it's a bittersweet moment. You know, last time in front of the home crowd, you know, I love the home crowd. But, um, you know, we left on the W. It's always a great feeling to leave on the W, undefeated on the turf. So, you know, it's, it's like I say, it's bittersweet. You know, I got a lot of emotions running through. It's bittersweet, you know, but we won. Right. You know, now we on to the next one. Right. Next game is up. Once again, you're a little short of 100 yards tonight, but once again, you're a grimer. You, you really get in there and you get, you get it going. Yeah. So as we move forward, what can we expect from the Jaguars? Another win. <laughs> That's it. Uh... <laughs> Another win, basically. That's it. Another win. I'm here with Contavious Preston. And Contavious, the dog day defense is definitely playing lights out. Be exact, this is your last night playing here at A.W. Mumford as a senior. What's going through your mind, sir? Uh, it, was just, it was just a lot of emotions during pregame. We knew that coming in, me, Austin, Danny, Tiller, and guys like that, we knew we, what we started four years ago. And just coming into this last home game, it was very emotional. But we knew what we had to do. We knew we had to win this game. And when you did, listen, man, you had a great game tonight. Nine tackles and the defense, as I said, are playing lights out. How do we keep that going? I feel like we just, we just got to work on the little things going from here on forward as far as tackling, right fits, and right coverage, being in our right zones and coverage. But besides that, uh, we, we're playing with a lot of passion. We're playing with a lot of effort and a lot of heart, but we just got to harp on the little things and get those right if we want to be a be much better defense. I'm here, and tonight was the night. Uh, Austin Howard. Over 400 yards, four TDs. Man, listen, you passed like your homeboy. Uh, you actually surpassed your homeboy, Dre Joseph, as the all-time passing yards leader and the TD leader here at Southern. How does that feel, man? All glory be to God, man. Um, I can't express that enough, man. It, really, it wasn't me out there playing. I just prayed a lot. I just prayed. And I asked God to just guide my hands, my feet, my eyes. And, I mean, he showed up big for me tonight, man. All glory be to God. Well, you are now the Southern University all-time leader. At the GOAT, 
himself at the quarterback position. Listen, you got a whole bunch of weapons out there. How, just talk to us about how you go to the progressions of who you're going to pass to. How does that work? I mean, I just go through my reads. You know, we pray, all the players run in the game. We practice it. We practice it in practice. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's really the same thing. Our coaches do a great, uh, great job of game planning against teams, put us in the right situations, the right game plan. I mean, and I mean, I, I just can't express it enough, bro. All glory be to God, man. That's, that's, that's all I can say. Well, one more for you, man. You ran the ball tonight. So, of course, after we've been worried about the knee, how's the knee feeling? Oh, man, knee feels great. You know, uh, I've been in tra treatment, uh, you know, trying to get it right. And I, I felt good tonight, man. When I, uh, I play with a lot of heart, bro. And, you know, I couldn't worry about the knee in, in those crucial situations. And when it, when it happened, when I had to run the ball, I just, I just ran. And I just did what I could do for my team. I also want to talk to you about, man, senior night. You're a big-time senior. Last game, A.W. and Mumford. How does it feel? Oh, man, it's bittersweet. You know, uh, I can say I'm undefeated on, on the turf since we got the turf. Uh, never lost a game on it. Uh, it's just bittersweet, man. You know, uh, I'm just glad we got the win and, and finished the season out on the turf undefeated. We're here with number one, Danny Johnson. Danny, last night as a senior here at A.W. Mumford. Man, you, you I, like I tell them, they didn't get the memo. Don't throw it your way. <laughs> don't kick it your way. Don't punt it your way. Don't put the ball even close to you. It might be some problem. But you brought Lil D in the house. Lil D, you watching your daddy? You love the way he's been playing? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. So, Danny, let me tell you this, man. Uh, good job returning the ball tonight. With all aspects of the game, which do you enjoy most, the offense or the defense? I enjoy defense more. You know, I've been playing that for four years. But, you know, I like offense as well. I haven't played that in a while. So I enjoy the time when I am on offense. Okay, with that being said, man, like I said, last night, senior, A.W. Mumford, tell the folks how you feeling. I feel great. You know, I appreciate all the guys in the room. You know, they went out and fought hard. You know, we had a little adversity in the first half, but we came out second half, we adjusted, and we fought. You know, it was a tough game. Prairie View was a good team, but at the end of the day, you know, we came out victorious. Well, Todd, you heard it right here on the Jaguar Football Show. Thanks, Joe, for all of that. And, Coach, uh, not only was it a big victory for your team, but it was senior night. What has these seniors been able to mean for your program? Well, you know, they're outstanding young men. They do things the right way. They're in line to get their degrees. They left the program, on, on, you know, on a great foundation. 8-0 on the turf. You know, since we've been playing on the turf, we're 8-0. And this senior class is what you want in sons, man. I'm very proud of them. We know we got a lot of football left to play. But congratulations to the seniors on senior night. Well, let's take a break. Stay tuned. We'll be back here with the Jaguar Football Show with head coach Dawson Odoms. Baton Rouge, we rise to meet opportunity. We carry the weight of responsibility proudly. We choose our paths. We move fast and we fly high. We light the way for others to follow. We make it happen. But what really matters is what happens when we land at home. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. Welcome back here to the Jaguar Football Show with head coach Dawson Odoms located at Zachary in Zachary, Louisiana at Martha's Bistro at 19900 Old Scenic Highway. Uh, but let's quickly go to the interview with Mel Blunt. Ty Sterling had a chance to catch up with Hall of Famer, Southern University great Mel Blunt. 
Sailor, I'm here with the great Mel Blunt, Southern University Hall of Famer, Pittsburgh Steeler Hall of Famer. Of course, Mel, we want to ask you, what are your fondest memories of being at SU? Well, I'm obviously my freshman year. The game against Graham. I was put in that game. Alright. Tell us about your Super Bowl rings. You got four of them. Do you still wear them or they, they, they put away safely now? They put away safely, but every time someone come over to the house and they start talking about the Super Bowl rings, my wife bring them out. She lay them out on the table. Got four Super Bowl rings and four Hall of Fame rings. And you know, I'm not a big jewelry guy, but it's, it's a good jewelry to have. That's for sure. Another question for you. Give us your take on the players' uh, protest regarding police brutality. Well, I think it's uh, a social issue that the players hold dear to their hearts. I don't think it's anything about disrespecting the flag, disrespecting the servicemen. I think it's uh, about them bringing light to the issue that we're uh, facing in this country. And I think it's a good job. It's unfortunate when the president speak out against something like that and call people the names. Uh, I think athletes are competitive people That's by nature. And so what they want to do is show him that uh, his words uh, doesn't relate to who they are and what they are about. Last question, the CTE issue. What do you think the NFL could do to help the players with the CTE issue? Well, I think, I think they're doing something about it. The main thing there is that they are aware that it is a problem. So the one thing that they did do is put, a, put up millions of dollars for guys who were having those issues. Uh, I think the safety rules they're putting in place make sure the guys' uh, health is, is uh, taken into consideration. And so I think it's something that over time they will start and continue to put in. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Ty, for that interview. Let's get ready to take a break. We'll see you right back here. It's Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Owens. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Thank you for watching the Coach Jaguars football show. Go Jazz! Yeah, I'm trying to do all that, man. Shit, I didn't know. <laughs>